This is David, WA9ONY. I created two tutorials on GNU Radio Companion and realized that it would be really nice to be able to download those tutorial code. So I've created a account in GitHub repository. We'll go to the browser here. We can see it's github.com slash my call sign my amateur radio call sign, capital W-A-9-O-N-Y. And this will lead you to the page that I created. This is a free uh, public uh, repository. I've created a repository for GNU Radio. Let's go ahead and click on that. In this repository, there's a readme file dot md that means markdown that readme file is displayed at the end of the page here what I've done is I've commented and I've indicated that tutorial 1.grc here's the YouTube video that goes with it here's tutorial 2 here's its YouTube video if you want to go to the um, playlist here's the pay playlist URL and then if you want to go to uh, qrz.com, which has a list of variety of links and so forth, here's the uh, link here. Now, what we'd like to do is get this code onto the computer. Right now, it's sitting on the GitHub repository. I'm going to use the web interface. Uh, we got this nice green button in our face. We'll click on download, and we're going to click on the zip file. The reason we're going to click on the zip file is that uh, we're not going to create a uh, repository um, basically set up in the uh, computer. We're just interested in these two files. So we're going ahead and click on download zip. And we notice that down here we see the uh, indication that the uh, download has occurred. Let's go ahead and shrink this. Let's go to um, well. Let's go to the download file. Oh, there it is. Okay, here's the download. Now, the way I've organized my uh, files here, I have a directory, pi. That's the home directory. We all have that unless you changed your username. GRC is GNU Radio Command uh, Companion. And in that, I have another directory called GitHub. So what we're going to do is we're going to just drag this over to the GitHub and get it out of the download folder. And we can close that now. We're all done. Now this is a zip file. So we can double click on it. And it's going to launch a program to extract it. Here's the open box that indicates the extraction process. So we will click on extraction. But we don't want it to temp. We'd like to put it in this uh, GNU radio. So let's go back to um, uh, find. In fact, why don't I just hit recent? Oh, here's GNU radio companion, and here's Git in it. Okay. Now we've back where the zip file is. We're going to go ahead and click on the open. Now we got that path set up correctly. Now we're going to extract it. Notice that it did put it into a uh, directory for us. We can close the zip uh, program, double click on that, and there we have. We have the readme file. And we have tutorial 1 and 2. Now let's go and start up GNU Radio Companion. And let's try out those two programs. This is the uh, readme file that was in the repository. Okay, well, let's go to File, Open, Pi, 
Let's go to GNU Radio Companion Directory. Go to GitHub. Go to the uh, zip file that we unzipped and created this directory. And here's Tutorial 1. So we're going to go ahead and load that. And sure enough, here is our Osman. The important thing, this is at 103.3. You probably want to change it to a different station. The other thing I've done is I've added some information to this block. The title, Tutorial 1, uh, created it, and the description. That was not in the tutorial. So just let you know that uh, that was added. Now we need to create the code for this. We go ahead and generate the flowchart by this button. And we go ahead and monitor its operation down here. And then we're going to hit the little arrow to indicate to execute the flowchart. And the flowchart is going through connecting to the RTL SDR.com version 3. And certainly enough, here is our frequency. And then, of course, here's the waterfall. I'm going to do a little bit on the auto scale. Here's our um, two waveforms of IQ. And this is the high end phase is the real, the Q is the imaginary. And then, of course, here's the quadrature and end phase for the um, diagram here. So that's working fine. Now, we always want to stop it with the stop button, not by clicking close up and down. OK, let's go ahead and grab the other one. Open tutorial 2. Notice that I created a tab here. I'll go ahead and generate the flowchart again for this. And then I click on the execute the flowchart. And what we did is we added two controls, one for the frequency and one for the gain setting. And here we go. We have 103.3. We can go ahead and change the frequency settings. Da, 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 da. And then at the same time, we can go ahead and ch change the gain. We can increase or decrease the gain to see however it works out best. And the constellation was the best way to see that, uh, oh, just on the verge, it's clipping just a little bit. So I'll go ahead and decrease that. That would even be, that's a better setting for the gain. Okay, let's go ahead and close that. I convinced ourselves that it's working. I hit the stop sign, not the close. And this shows how to use the GitHub web interface to download the code for tutorial one and tutorial two. Future tutorials will be added to that. I also encourage you to look at the uh, playlist for WA901YSDR. It's over uh, 20 YouTube videos now that cover everything and set in your computer up in Raspberry Pi specifically and using a variety of SDR software. This is David, WA901Y. 73 and QRT.